Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Hey, I'm using Windows 10. No, not really. This is actually a Windows 10 theme on top of Linux. Mint and wow, this is a really, really good looking theme. And it would be really hard for me to tell that this was Windows 10 if I was not looking really closely. Now, this is actually a, one of the recommendations made by one of our subscribers um, when I did an episode on customizing Linux. Uh, they had said, well, why don't you do a Windows 10 or Mac OS theme? And I really thought that was a great idea. And at the same time, it's something that's pretty easy to do in Linux Mint. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how we could do this for Windows 10 theme. And then on another episode, I'll do one on Mac OS, uh, which is uh, probably going to be pretty, uh, I would say, amazing for people who's never done theming in Linux before and how really easy it is to make it look this good. So let's go ahead and get started from changing Linux Mint to Windows 10. Okay, so obviously that was not Windows 10, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to get that nice, clean Windows 10 look on Linux without actually having to go back to Windows. So the first thing you need to do is download the actual theme, which is pretty easy in Linux Mint. You would go to Preferences and then go to System Settings. And the first thing you want to do is go to your themes. And from here, you're going to go ahead and add this Windows 10 theme. So you go to Add, Remove Desktop Themes. And I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to show you where to get it. You go to Available Themes. And then you're going to type in Windows. And you'll notice it's the Windows 10 Lite theme. Now, the thing you want to do here is not only do you want to install it, but you also want to install the icon packs as well. So you click on here to More Info. And what it's going to do is going to bring up the web page for the Windows 10 Lite theme. And so this is important if you want the whole full Windows 10 experience because you're going to need the icons as well. So all you would do right here in this particular link, highlight this link, copy it, and then paste it over on another window. And then you would just download that particular um, icon pack. Okay. So you'll notice that after you download it, you'll get something called Windows 10.icons and then .zip. And what you do is you would right click on your mouse and then extract it here. And when you do that, there'll be a folder called Windows 10 icons. Okay, so this part is pretty important. You're going to copy this particular folder into your .icons folder. Okay, so your .icons folder, you go back here and you'll go view, show hidden files, and then you'll see this folder called .icon. So what you want to do is copy that folder you just extracted over to this particular folder, okay? So now that you've done that, what you're going to need to do is also download the Windows 10 wallpaper and also the start menu. So all you would do is type in Windows 10 wallpaper and then you would just download that to your particular computer. Go to Images. And then you find a Windows 10 wallpaper that you like. I'm going to download the default one. And I've already done that. So I've, this is the one that I downloaded. And then the other thing you want to download is the Windows 10 start menu. So I just type in Windows 10 PNG. And go to images. And you'll notice that you'll find a start menu right here. And that's the one that I downloaded. So I've already downloaded both of these, so I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick. And right here under Pictures, I have my Windows 10 wallpaper and also the Start menu. So what I want to do first is I want to set this as my desktop background. So right-click on my mouth, Set as Wallpaper. And now I got the Windows 10 wallpaper. And, you know, it's not quite Windows 10 yet. So I'll go back to my desktop themes. In my system settings, I'll go to install themes, Windows 10 Lite. I go ahead and apply the theme, and now it's going to change my desktop to match the Windows 10 design. And wow, it's already changing, getting very close. And now you got this whole clean design. Now it's time to change the rest of your 
theme with the correct icons and folders and window borders so it's not quite there yet so we're gonna go ahead and go back to themes Windows borders let's go ahead and change this to Windows 10 Lite now this should look even more familiar we're gonna change the icons and you know if you copy it over to the dot icons folder correctly you see Windows 10 icons choose that one and as you see really quickly now you have all these Windows 10 S icons they should be pretty much the same ones and wow it's gonna be hard to tell that this is not Linux anymore next up is the controls I'm gonna choose Windows 10 controls and that is even closer okay so one part that you want to change is the start menu uh, so all you have to do is right click right here go to configure and then what you're gonna do is use the icon that you downloaded use custom icon go to the folder where you downloaded the Windows start icon which is this right here and then after that you're gonna go ahead and get rid of this menu text just delete it and there you go you now have a Windows 10 design on top of Linux Mint and everything has been changed to match Windows 10 look and feel and I'm really really amazed by how good this looks and how seamless it is now there are a couple of things that are still not quite a hundred percent but like I said this is really really great and even like when you're opening up your video player which I can't show here but it even has the Windows 10 look and feel there as well so that's pretty much it for this particular fun episode of theming Windows 10 theme on top of Linux Mint now you gotta have this really clean I really like this design of Windows 10 without having to give up all the power and flexibility of Linux Mint and so in the next episode I'm gonna actually do a Mac OS theme for all the Apple users out there and I really do like that design as well thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode